All right, everyone. I know it's been a little while looking at the progress since I've done a video. But it's been so much going on, and Dad's been working on it a lot through the week when I've been at work, so been no one here filming. So got a few pictures I'll throw in there, but that's all I got. So uh, got the front radiator all front end back on. Uh, been working on, got our hoses on, new original IH belt. Uh, got our power steering lines cut and mounted in last weekend. Uh, new front tires. Uh, we're actually gonna pull this one back off and swap to another wheel we have because that wheel is a little broke out and missing around the valve stem, but. Being a nice restored show tractor, we want to fix that. It would probably be okay for normal use, but uh, got the valve cover off. We've been checking the valves. Uh, probably going to pull a rod and main cap off and look at the uh, wear on the bearings just to be curious while we got the oil pan off and we've gone this far. Uh, Dad's been recently, this this week, getting the two post rops mounted on. Got the rear wheel castings back on from paint. Uh, got the one hydraulic hose coupler bracket off to it's bent just a little bit, causing it to rub the three point arms. So we got to get that fixed. Uh, got our top link on and painted. Uh, pretty well going to wrap up the rear end. Uh, got our new PTO handle on there. Uh, still got to get our fenders next door and what up these holes from the factory radio and the little track supply umbrella top that was on it uh, and sanded and painted. Get our new lights, of course. Get our fuel tank clean, get it back on, along with the steering post. But let's see if we can get the other two posts for the ROPs up here. Dad did that side by himself. Surely I can do this side. Uh, he didn't do this side because when this is a Lehman's tractor parts remanufactured like original canopy um they had actually had a little weld splatter down in that hole so i brought a tap uh and cleaned it cleaned it out that is an actual threaded hole because this is blind on the other side due to the framework being in the way but so uh, let's see if we can get that up there and not hurt herself I don't know, this thing's pretty heavy.
I'll do that for right now. Until I get the bolts loosened up where I can move that tomorrow. Find Dad, we'll find what Dad did with the tools. Well, I'm not real sure at the moment. As you can see, I'm hitting the floorboard platform here with actual post. And I need to continue to scoot to the inside for it to really match up well up there at the top crossbar and the other side over here still has a normal amount of room so I'm not real sure at this point in time what is said issue uh, if we need to loosen the flow board up and move it or what because so we've had it off that's another thing we had it off cleaned underneath it painted it brought it back bolted it back down so huh not real sure at the moment but progress i guess and come at you come at you with another update but thanks for watching and also a little sneak freak preview at what's to come this summer those of you those of you that have been with the channel for a little while or, or at least watched the older videos are familiar with our new holland 1412 disc bind we were using last year cutting with done a good job very happy with it uh, but this year as you can see kind of hiding over there in front of the 5288 a new addition to us just brought home last weekend was the h7550 center pit of it this bad uh, so look forward to some videos of that running probably behind the 52 there uh, We'll have some drone footage of that running and trying out. It'll be our first experience with 13 foot mower and a center pivot to begin with. So it's gonna be a little different. Uh, we've always just had a right hand side mower. Uh, 
started off with just a regular nine foot dish mower on the 886 there so it's gonna be a vast improvement again so and there's the 750 575 waiting to get out and play again this year as well or uh, get our accumulator going again now that we've got our grapples we can actually pick it up and not have to go out there and gather them by hand so stay tuned